Kia ora koutou. hi Lauren Parsons here. So I want to talk about meetings and particularly if you're a leader and you host meetings or you're a part of organising them, one of the keys is the way that you start your meeting and this is really critical because the way you start your meeting will determine the outcome of your meeting overall and a lot of people sit around, they wait for people to arrive and then finally it's like okay let's get underway. But great leaders will actually be super intentional about the way that you start your meeting. And particularly with so many challenges right now with all the uncertainty that's going on, your team members need you to be able to get them connected and ready and in the right mind space and with the right atmosphere to be able to have an, an actual productive and effective meeting. So I've got five ideas for you of things that you can do, really practical tools and tips and tricks that can help your team to be connected and have effective outcomes. So one here in New Zealand, one of our beautiful cultural things that's available is opening with karakia or with waiata, so opening with a prayer or with a song. And you know, such an awesome opportunity to take a few moments to involve some of your team members perhaps to help to lead that and to get everyone together. Really, really great opportunity there. Another thing is to start with some brain gym. So something that gets people moving in some way, some sort of movement perhaps with their arms, something that's going to get them cross patterning. There are lots and lots of ideas out there online. If you've been to any of my workshops, you'll know that I use them a lot. And what it does is it stimulates right brain and left brain hemispheres to both be working, gets people active and engaged. Another way is if you can add some sort of game that creates laughter. So there's lots of fantastic team games or paired up games that you can get your team to do that might take one or two minutes that will really lift the energy in the room and help people to be focused, to transition from whatever else they were doing and be ready and, and ready to engage. And it will also inspire better problem solving, more innovative ideas because you're gonna switch on all of the creative centers in their brain. A fourth thing, idea is to practice mindfulness. So one very simple way that you can do that is to get everyone to take five deep diaphragmatic breaths together. And I know an organization that did this and they had some watches that were monitoring people's heart rates. And this leading organization, they and their senior leadership teams would just start every meeting by taking five deep diaphragmatic breaths and it helped them to all be on the same page and be in sync and be present in the room, physically present. And then the last idea I have for you is to just check in in some way. And this is great if you don't have too large of a team to be able to go around and just for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, for everyone to share how they're feeling. So you can do the one word check in, which is, okay, let's just share one word. How's everyone doing right now? Sometimes people will elaborate with a few more words, but generally stick to one word. Or perhaps if you have more time to give everyone 30 seconds or a minute and have a question of the day. So it might be, Best thing about your day, might be how you're doing right now, might be what's been the highlight of your week, or it could be something deeper like what's the challenge that you're working on at the moment, or perhaps something like what have you been learning lately, what have you been reading lately. But going around and giving everyone a chance to contribute and be heard, it sets the tone for the meeting for everyone to continue to contribute, for everyone to continue to be heard. So there you go, thanks for watching the live, those that are here, if you're watching the replay just to recap. So open with karakia or a prayer, with some brain gym, with a game that gets people energised, perhaps laughing, creating human connection. Practice some mindfulness and do a check-in. And you could even combine several of these ideas together. Maybe you do something active and then get everyone centred with some uh, meaningful deep breathing. So if you've never used any of these techniques and tools, they may feel a little unusual, a little uncomfortable. Happy to chat through with you and talk through some of the tips and ideas around how to introduce these ideas. But I can promise you that as you start your meetings intentionally and show up as a really, a really wise leader that's getting your team connected, you are going to have better outcomes from your meetings. Wishing you lots of calm, optimism as we head into the next few days and ongoing uncertainty here in New Zealand. Kia kaha, kia maya, kia mana wanui. Stay strong, stay steadfast, stay willing. Thanks for watching.